this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. A passenger from this car got out to get food from a restaurant in this shopping center. Sometime later, a child in the back seat found a gun inside a bag and began playing with it. We wouldn't wish that on anybody. Like, that's just something you, there's nothing you can fathom. The child accidentally fired it, killing another child who was also in the back seat. It's what up, this is D Channel Guns coming at you with another video. Appreciate you watching, like, share, and subscribe. So I want to thank y'all for coming over here. Appreciate you smash that like button. Support your two-way channels, your gun channels, people who need all the help we can. I appreciate, um, you know, the ones that come over here every single day through the good and the bad and the ups and downs. Nothing moves in straight line, people. So, um, you know, we're going to talk about unsecured firearms, people. I'm talking about this is becoming a nuisance in the two-way community. It's becoming a big issue. Um, your politicians, your states are seizing on it. They are coming up with more bills and more legislation. They're upping the penalties, upping the fines. I'm talking about, you know... I keep saying this, you know, get you something to lock your firearm up. If you're going to have not have the firearm on your person and stuff, leave the firearm home locked up, people. Because a lot of people's bringing firearms in the vehicle and stuff. They got kids. Or they're letting somebody else drive their car. They got kids. It's just too much stuff going on with these, these children just finding guns and then, you know, people getting injured and losing their lives. So, you know, you just seen the intro and stuff. You seen the situation we're dealing with. So right now, um, it was a vehicle. Um, it had multiple people driving the car. Um, I guess um, start off first that um, it was multiple people. It was two children. They were supposed to have been heading to the beach and stuff like that. I guess they was going to the beach. And somehow the person who was driving that was going to the beach um, had a seizure. So this person ended up going to the hospital. Now, we don't know who home own the car to my that's been tossed around who's the owner of the car whatever the case may be but now this person went to the hospital had the seizure that was driving now um someone um came to pick up the vehicle now the pr people who went to the beach they were still you know left behind so obviously the, the two kids were still in the car and somebody else i guess they was driving whatever the case may be well at the end of the day um the person they they went they went and took some people to the hospital where the person had the seizure, so they end up leaving the hospital and they stopped at a Little Caesar and stuff. Now, uh, when they stopped at the Little Little Caesar, um, the person that was in the front passenger seat went inside to get a pizza, leaving the two children in the back seat and one person in the driver's seat. Now, the person in the driver's seat was waiting for the passenger to return from from the pizza shop. When they heard a, a loud gunshot from behind smoke in the smoke filled car. So smoke was in the car after the shot was fired. Now the driver of the car at the time was unaware that there was a gun in the car and said they never saw it. But they turned around. They saw uh, one with a wound in the arm. So one of the kids was shot in the arm. And it was uh, another wound. The other um, with the wound to the hand. So now the third person in the back seat was unharmed. Now the child who had a gunshot wound in the arm later died. Um, the bullet ultimate traveled into, I guess, to the child's chest and stuff like that. Um, found out that um, the gun was a Kimber 380 um, caliber gun that was inside that bag that was left. So right now it's still investigation people. They're trying to figure out who left this bag um, in the vehicle and stuff like that. Who Who's the... Um, owner of the gun, the owner of the car, whatever the case may be. But, you know, with all that going on, people, you know, a child has lost their life because someone forgot to secure this firearm and everything. And this is the problem I keep saying. Uh, we have to lock up our firearms and stuff. Now, I have showed different little cheap budget, you know, vehicle um, safes and stuff like that. And a lot of people, first thing they say, well, oh, you know, there's nothing. Um, that's easy for someone to break into. The problem is, uh, to my, you just have a little child. They can't just get into it uh, to my, and stuff like that because guess what? You know, if you got the key to it or whatever the case may be, they can't just get into it. When you have a bag, a zipper, or the gun is just left in the glove department and stuff like that and it's loaded, guess what's happening? You know, kids are getting injured. Kids are getting killed. So, uh, to my, I've been offering little solutions that everybody keeps shooting down, but at the same time, we keep having this huge problem. Therefore, we are giving energy, we are motivating the politicians to come to work the next day 
or the, that whole week and create more bills in that state. Um, you know, more more safe storage laws. I'm talking about that, you know, start banning more things and stuff that you can do to farm and everything. So that is what we're dealing with, people. And, you know, this is sad. And, you know, un it's unbelievable is how many articles I see daily, people, daily articles of an unsecured farm and a child has got it. And then, you know, they say cheap, teach cat, you know, teach your children about farm and stuff. I'm talking about you can teach them, you can teach them and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, we have to secure the firearms, people. We have to secure them. We just have to. So I'm talking about when you have people who are treating farms as if they were some type of, uh, I don't know, some just regular little device, cell phone or something left in the vehicle, and, you know, they're not really taking, you know, securing this stuff. We, we got a problem, people. We have a, we have a serious problem. But, you know, we got to start, you know, owning up as gun owners and stuff. Uh, to my, we already got enough to deal with in the 2A community. We got this administration. Uh, we got politicians. We got the organization groups and stuff that is constantly raining on, on down on the Second Amendment in this country and everything. But as gun owners, we're going to have to take responsibility, people, to keep these farms out of hands of people who shouldn't have them and stuff like that. I guarantee you we start locking up these guns and stuff, people, and we can prevent a lot of these. Um, gun laws and stuff out here. So I want to talk about that because this is very serious, people. This is this is nothing to to you know for a long time. You know, a lot of people you know don't really didn't talk about you know storing your farms and stuff, locking them up and stuff. But right now it's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. And we got a bunch of new people who bought firearms during this pandemic who not took the time out to take safety first. And you know, and it's another and this is another thing. You have people who got a firearm, a loaded firearm, one in the chamber, ready to go, people, ready to go. And you just leave it around. And the first thing these kids are doing are pulling the trigger and a round goes off. So why are you going to keep one in the chamber if you don't even have the firearm on you? I'm talking about and stuff like that. And that's another problem right there. I'm talking about because every article that I have read, it was one in the chamber. That all the kid had to do was pull the trigger and a round goes off. So that, that is another problem. I'm talking about, I can see if you got it on your person and stuff like that, or if you don't have no kids or nothing in the vehicle or in your home and stuff like that, that's fine. You know you know that you got one in the chamber stuff. But when you just got a farm left with one in the chamber, it's hot, ready to go, people. Anybody, and like I'm going to say this again, it don't take an expert, don't take a genius. I'm talking about, you don't have to, <laughs> anybody, a dummy, anybody can pull the trigger on the farm, people. So, it's nothing special about pulling the trigger on the phone. Anybody can do it. You see what little kids and stuff. And I done went through a lot of ages and stuff who have grabbed firearms and everything and pulled the trigger. So with that said, people lock your guns and stuff up so we can start some of these laws. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.